Hi everyone, I'm Alex and I hope you are all having a great day. Today, let's have a look on how to deal with startup applications in MSIX. With Win32 applications, which are natively installed on the system, there are many ways in which you can trigger a program to run a startup. You can choose to place a run user registry key, a run local machine registry key, or a shortcut in the startup folder. The startup folder can be found either in the user roaming profile, which operates at the user level and it's unique to each user on the system, or in the program data folder, which operates at the system level and it's shared among all user accounts on the system. Meaning that application shortcuts which are placed here are opening a startup for all the users on the machine. However, with MSIX, you cannot use any of the above methods to trigger a program to run a startup. Even if you have the registry key or the shortcut created inside the project, this does not work. With MSIX, the behavior of the application is determined by the Apex manifest. Within this, for each defined application, you can use the startup task class to add an executable to run a startup. For example, if you have a declared application like this, you can add the following code, which adds an extension to that application. That extension uses the startup task class to tell MSIX that, hey, this application must be started at the next startup. After you install your MSIX package, the system knows based on the app manifest that during startup, this application must be opened. With Advanced Installer, it's even easier because everything is done via the intuitive graphical user interface. So let's have a look on how you can achieve this. Now, I'm not going to go through all the details of creating an MSIX package. So I already went ahead and created one. It only contains a small sample executable and that's pretty much it. So now let's add a startup task class with Advanced Installer. To do this, we must go to declarations. Under our startup application example, this is our application ID. We right click, add an application declaration and add a startup task. You can perform any additional changes you want here, uh, but with this, that's pretty much it. You have a startup task. So when you build your package, install it and reboot the machine, this application will automatically open. And if we open up our Apex manifest file and scroll down a bit, you will see the desktop extension, the startup task, which points to our sample executable, and the task ID is the startup application example, the ID of our application from the MSIX package. Although it's a bit different, you can see that it's not that hard to configure startup applications in your MSIX package. For more information about MSIX, check out our YouTube channel, blogs, and user guide. Until the next video, I wish you all an amazing day. Bye-bye.